This is such a grand and beautiful building. Too bad it was only temporary. Behold, the beautiful festival hall built for Louisiana Purchase Exposition in 1904. This initial impression is bound to inspire awe in all who stand before it. Notice how the placement of this subject in center certainly denotes it as a main focus. We see our subject's form accented so well against the lighter sky. We see a sense of rhythm most evidently in the leftward division of columns. These appear most reminiscent of the luxurious Greek Corinthian order. The form present in this piece is highly dynamic and extremely complex. Every detail makes itself known from the statue at the base to the highest point that peaks this piece. One is bound to also mention a sense of texture when viewing this grand work. Due to the use of photography, this makes it feel as if we're standing straight before this stunning sight. But how does this photograph make you feel? We can't help but point to the sheer scale of this beautiful building. A use of scale often points to the status of the society that has achieved such a sight. Before the modern era, a use of ornate detail was often used to point to a piece of elevated or sacred status. Of course, when we create a masterpiece, we are showing our best to the most high and the highest realm of the gods. The Louisiana Purchase Exposition, also known as the St. Louis World Fair, was an event held in the American state of Missouri to celebrate the centennial anniversary of the 1803 Louisiana Purchase. This is 100 years later, of course held in 1904. The photograph we're looking at presents Festival Hall, one of many buildings commissioned during the event. This building was designed by the architect Cass Gilbert, and this building was used for massive musical pageants hosting the world's largest organ at the time. And although this site is no doubt beautiful, it was built using a temporary plaster called staff. Of course, meant only to be an ephemeral site, almost all of the buildings made for the exposition were demolished soon after the event. Here are some additional perspectives of this grand and beautiful construction. It's hard to say what the city of St. Louis would have looked like had this building and many others been preserved with longer lasting materials. But despite this thought, we're blessed to have photographs that still survive to this day. After all, it's hard to imagine what it'd be like to stand in the midst of such a grand and beautiful building. The piece before us was created using the medium of photography in 1904, and then we have additional edits to add the element of color. Back then, of course, here is the original photograph. You can see it is in black and white. This piece could have been hand-colored or ran through an AI generative art program of some kind in order to add the element of color. Of course, we're looking at an estimate after all but I really hope you'll enjoy today. This piece could not be tied to any one individual photographer, but it is owned by the corporation known as the Official Photographic Company. So like I said, just absolutely blessed to have a photograph that still survives to this day. I really wish this building still existed. I would absolutely love to visit it. But once again, I really hope you'll enjoy today. If y'all did, go learn a little bit more about the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, also known as the St. Louis World Fair. This is Festival Hall, but there are so many beautiful buildings that were created for this event. But sadly, they were only temporary. But that's all I have for today. Once again, really hope you'll enjoy. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode.